Hey there knitters, welcome back. I'm Jana with Pearl Together and today we're wrapping up our customizable toe up series and doing the bind off at the top of the foot. Before we get started, I want to give a big public thank you to Elita. Thanks for becoming a Pearl Together patron this last week. I really appreciate your support. If you want to learn how you can become a patron and what happens when you donate a small monthly pledge, you'll be signed up to receive some perks. So go check out patreon.com forward slash pearl together to see what I'm talking about. All right, let's get started finishing up these customizable toe up socks. Okay, after you've knitted the leg of your sock as tall as you'd like for it to be, it's time to do the bind off. You can do a standard bind off here where you would just, you know, knit into the first stitch and then pull that stitch over the next one, you know, your regular bind off. Um, but you might also find that that's not as stretchy as you might like for going around your heel and being pulled up on a sock. So I like to use Elizabeth Zimmerman's sewn bind off. So what I've done here is just measured approximately three, the length of three times around, the length of the circumference of my sock three times around to have a long enough tail to sew with. And then, mine's probably a little longer than that, I just like to make sure. And then I'm gonna go into this first stitches on the needle at the beginning of my round. I'm gonna go into the first two, two stitches on the needle as if to purl. So I'm going in underneath there as if to purl, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that through. And then go back into the first stitch as if to knit. And then we're gonna take that one off. Now you wanna maintain some good tension here where you want things to be snug but not too tight because you wanna maintain some stretch but you also don't want it so sloppy that your bind off is gonna be flared out. Um, that just takes a little practice. So go again, you'll go into this first two stitches as if to purl and pull that through and then go back into the first one as if to knit and let that one come off your needle and then just snug that up a little bit. First two stitches purl wise back into the first one knitwise and off. Okay, just carry on like that all the way around and then I'll show you what I do at the end. I'm about to finish up here. I just have a couple stitches left. So again, under purl wise and back through the first one knitwise, take that one off and then you just have one stitch left. So you just finish off by still keeping the same pattern and go in under that last one purl wise. Oops. Then take your needles out and then what I like to do here is to, to mitigate that jog. You know when you finish you've you've knit you've basically bound off and you've added a row. So in order to mitigate that jog what I like to do is take my darning needle off take it off of the tail. Okay I'm going to put the needle through from front front to back underneath that next stitch, double the yarn over on the tail over and put that through the eye of my needle. Okay, kind of made a little bit of a mess there, but that's all right. Then I'm gonna draw that loop through, but not all the way through, just through so that I can use the loop. Because now what I wanna do, I'm gonna pull this back to make it a little neater and make sure it's untwisted. Now what I wanna do is take the tail back through the loop. So that's gonna suck down that kind of jogged stitch and then pull that, pull on that fairly snug. So that kind of evens out that top row. Then you'll just wanna weave in your ends. I usually like to turn this inside out and then I'll take my, and go down the a pearl column row. All right. After I weave in my ends, I'm done. Yay. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. There's a link down below in the video description to the entire playlist for the whole series. If you've enjoyed these videos and find it helpful, give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button. If you be can become a patron, that's great as well. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.